ओके सो रोल नंबर टेन फर्स्ट टर्न इज रोल नंबर टेन ध्वनि हरिया बीबी डिटली अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ ध्वनि यस ध्वनि अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ दिस इज योर टर्न ध्वनि कैन यू हियर मी यू आर रोल नंबर टेन अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ the question for you i'll speak then unmute dhwani dhwani the students or those who won't speak i'll put them in waiting room otherwise okay let's see the next turn who gets next is 43 roll number yes 43 roll number is there raise your hand so many students are absent okay then 28 roll number within 4 seconds if you don't raise your hand the turn will go to the next person roll number 28 raise your hand and some have not written their roll numbers along with uh, not present i suppose 30 na uh, 28 roll number after that roll number 1 is roll number 1 there If roll number one is there, no. Roll number thirty-one. Yes, roll number thirty-one. Forty-four. Roll number forty-four. Who's forty-four on number? okay absent right after that roll number 8 dipali raise your hand dipali roll number 8 yes roll number 8 dipali unmute yourself what is the commercial unit of energy commercial unit of energy commercial kilowatt hour kilowatt r yes and how it is related to joule how many joules are there in 1 kilowatt hour how many joules are there in 1 kilowatt hour yes how many joules are there in 1 kilowatt hour dipali do you know Do you know that? Ma'am, there are three point six into ten raised to power six joule yes. in one kilowatt hour. So one kilowatt hour equal to three point six into ten raised to power six joules. Very good. Okay, next roll number two. Roll number two is roll number two. Anshia, there. Okay. Anshia, so all of you keep a copy and a pen with you. Anshia, the question for you is, how fast should a man of weight five hundred newton run so as to have kinetic energy of seven twenty five joules? I repeat the question. All of you write in your copy. How fast should a man of five hundred newton run so as to have a kinetic energy of Seven twenty-five joule, seven fifty joule. कर लो, not seven twenty-five. It's seven fifty joule. Okay, so all of you solve in your copy. I'm also going to do it here, and you check your answer, right? So the weight of man is given five hundred newton. You can make out from the unit as well. This is weight that is given, five hundred newton, and kinetic energy is given seven fifty joule. Then what we should do? What we should do now? Yes, Anshia. Root three meter per second. Root three. Okay, let's check. Weight is mg. Mg is five hundred newton, and given g, g is ten meter per second. So use g ten. 
so from here we can find mass of man 50 kg so mass we have found 50 from here now we can easily find the velocity because kinetic energy is given let's apply the formula of kinetic energy half mv square is 750 okay so put the values mass is 50 into v square 750 this is 25 so v square is 750 by 25 Okay, so this is three and zero also. Let's uh, cut at the table of five first. What do we get? Let's see after solving this. Yes, thirty. So V is equal to under root thirty meter per second. So how fast should the man run? Now we know that the closest square root is under root what? Closest square root is under root twenty five, which is five. So this must be five point something. In between, you will get some answer. You can solve the square root, maybe five point four meter per second, somewhere around it. the answer would be somewhere around it so this is the velocity with which he should run in order to have this much kinetic energy okay so is this question clear to you any doubt to any student you can tell me if there is doubt to any student you can tell me okay next question let's see who gets the turn now Next is twenty one. Who's roll number twenty one? Yes, roll number twenty one. Ishani, okay. Unmute yourself. Write the question in your copy now. Are you able to unmute, Ishani? Ishani, unmute yourself. you are not able to unmute yourself why i am asking you to unmute try now the question for you is all of you write in your copy mass of an object is doubled mass of an object is doubled what will be the change in kinetic energy mass of an object is doubled what will be the change in kinetic energy yes now let's see what is the answer yes ishani any uh, answers from your side yes ishani any answer ishani Yes. Are you are unmuted? I can hear sound coming from your place. You are unmuted. So don't know the answer. Okay, the question passes on now. Now, whosoever knows the answer, raise the hand and tell me. Yes. So what's the answer? Yes, Tanvin. Ma'am, change in kinetic energy is equal to m v square. Equal to mv square mv square or half mv square jia what's your answer mv square mv square let's check it out let's check it out let's see kinetic energy is double of kinetic energy yes kinetic energy will be doubled na right but we are asking about something else right so see you have to understand the question carefully only then you will be able to do this so first of all kinetic energy was e first uh, let us say half mv square 
now when the mass is doubled kinetic energy will also get doubled so new kinetic energy is double of the previous we can say new kinetic energy is double of the previous so we can say it is 2e if the previous energy was e right so what is the change in kinetic energy change in kinetic energy is e dash minus e that is 2e minus e that is e only e equal to half mv square so if your answer is in terms of m and v then it must be half mv square okay understand the question if they are not asking what is new kinetic energy they are asking what is the change in kinetic energy so this way you will attempt these types of questions okay read the statement carefully okay now next turn roll number 45 yes who is roll number 45 roll number 45 raise your hand 45 roll number is present in the class okay next 48 48 roll number is present 48 raise your hand hurry up 48 no next is 39 yes navedita 39 roll number navedita raise your hand okay unmute yourself now question for you is state work energy theorem state work energy theorem state uh, work energy theorem hmm. what is work energy theorem navedita yes navedita what is work energy theorem bolo what's the statement of work energy theorem yes anyone now question passes on now yes dharya yes ma'am hmm. when force acts on an object work is done and work done is equal to change in kinetic energy right so this is the statement of work energy theorem when force acts on any object work is done and work done is equal to change in kinetic energy next turn roll number 8 ho gaya hua hai 37 roll number 37 raise your hand yes who is roll number 37 so next is 26 who is 26 raise your hand Roll number twenty-six. So it goes to the next forty-five. Forty-five roll number. Forty-three. Roll number forty-three. Okay, fifteen. Next is fifteen roll number. Guru Pal. Yes. Unmute yourself, Guru Pal. Yes, ma'am. Question for you is: What is the formula for elastic potential energy? Formula for elastic potential energy. Tell me. Yes. What's the formula for elastic potential energy? Ma'am. Um, Elastic potential energy is equal to one by two into spring constant in into change in position square. A half k x square. Yes. So elastic potential energy is half k x square. Right answer. Next term goes to twenty seven roll number. Twenty seven. I think हो चुकी है turn. पहले ओके ओके जिया का है कि जानवी का है हम जिया ओके 
so question for you is what will be the change in kinetic energy of an object if its velocity is reduced to one third all of you solve in your copy now if velocity of an object is reduced to one third what will be the change in kinetic energy now yes come on hurry up what will be the change in kinetic energy all of you are solving i hope velocity is reduced to one third now and we are to find again the change in kinetic energy now let's see whether you are able to do this question okay all of you try now yes so again previous kinetic energy is half and v square new kinetic energy is dependent upon new velocity which is minus given to you over 9 yes what is that a minus 8 over 9 8 over 9 e yes the answer is 8 by 9 e and negative sign shows that kinetic energy is decreasing because it is directly proportional to square of velocity so if velocity is decreasing kinetic energy is decreasing so that's why change is negative also right answer 8 by 9 times the previous kinetic energy so let's solve that so v dash according to the question is 1/3 of original velocity it is reduced to 1/3 so v dash is v by 3 here right so put this value here now e dash become half m v by 3 square M v square by nine. You can bring nine one by nine here, and half m v square. Half m v square is e. So one by nine of e. This is new kinetic energy. But in the question, they are asking change in kinetic energy, not new kinetic energy. They are asking. So let us find change in kinetic energy. Final minus initial. One by nine e, yeah, e by nine minus e. So that is after taking LCM minus eight by nine e. So the kinetic energy also reduces by eight by nine. If velocity is reduced by one third, then kinetic energy also reduces by factor of eight by nine. Is that clear? Okay, students. any doubt regarding this question you can ask if there is any doubt students you can ask me next turn roll number 14 next turn is 14 roll number yes gurshan unmute yourself gurshan yes ma'am okay the question is one Define one watt. Define one watt. Ma'am, one watt is defined as the power produced when one joule of work is done in one second. Hmm. When one joule of work is done in one second. When one joule of work is done in one second. So power. Ah, uh, बता रहे थे गुरशान. Yes, repeat please. One watt. Yes. Yes, ma'am. One watt is defined as the power produced when one joule of work is done for one second. Yes. So power of a device or appliance is said to be one watt if it performs one joule of work in one second. If it performs one joule of work in one second. Okay, so I told you we can also calculate electricity bill of our house using uh, this uh, technique. Uh, we can calculate the energy consumed first using power into time formula, and then we can convert it into kilowatt hour or units. Then we'll multiply the cost of one unit. We'll multiply number of units with the cost of one unit. That will give us electricity bill, right? So I'm uh, going to give you a task now. <clears throat> you will take your own electricity bill any bill that is available to you okay 
and you will uh, collect electricity bill from two of your neighbors also so in all you will compare the electricity bills of three houses so this is a task given to you you are to calculate the number of units they have consumed and then multiply by the cost of one unit so this way you will compare the electricity bill of three houses so that is a task given to you you can do in your homework copy itself <clears throat> right so what you will do you will take the electricity bill slips of three houses you will note the number of units consumed from there all right after that you will multiply those number of units with cost of one unit and that will give you electricity bill and then you will verify whether the same amount is written on the bill also so this way you will compare electricity bills of three houses right next monday i'll be asking you so i'm giving you whole week one week i am giving you next monday i'll be asking you and do it in your copy just it will take one page right and you paste the electricity bills there paste the electricity bills in your copy okay you can take the previous bills i am not taking the, that uh, i am not saying that take the recent bill of your house okay you can take any previous bill and use that okay fine next let us see whose turn is this next roll number is 17 yes who is 17 roll number 17 roll number is present yes raise hand not present okay next roll number 10 who is roll number 10 yes who is roll number 10 students next is 18 18 roll number is there 18 roll number no okay so many students are absent i don't know why next is 30 30 roll number who is roll number 30 now kuch bol nahi rahe hain aur kuch absent hai 30 kon hai next is 42 rajvinder raise your hand you are present yes roll number 42 raise your hand roll number 42 raise your hand Rajvinder I saw you you are here he must have left now he is there yes he is there Rajvinder is raise your hand aur Ritika bahut late aayo 9:29 9:30 pe entry hui hai and period is going to be over yes Rajvinder unmute yourself yes ma'am okay what do you mean by transformation of energy what do you mean by transformation of energy yes rajvinder hmm. energy changing its state state no state is not changed yes gorav aap bolo Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, when one type of energy changes into uh, another type of energy, for example, uh, ma'am, electrical energy into kinetic energy. So, conversion of one form of energy into the other that is called transformation of energy. Next turn is forty-five roll number. Yes, Ritika, raise your hand now. Ritika, you are here now. So, question for you is, Ritika. रितिका रेज हैंड पहले भी आपकी टर्न आ चुकी है तब आप नहीं थे रितिका नाउ यू आर देयर यू कैन आंसर यस रितिका कमाल ये ना रितिका यू आर देयर रेज हैंड यस आई एम आस्किंग यू टू अनम्यू Ritika unmute. 
रितिका अनम्यूट करो नहीं बोलना आपने ओके एनी बनी एनी बडी एल्स वॉन्ट्स टू गिव द आंसर इन हैंड नाउ यस एनी वन एल्स नोज कैन आंसर एनी क्वेश्चन दैट आई आर रेज हैंड ओके आई आस्क अ क्वेश्चन देन यू रेज योर हैंड हु विल टेल मी वॉट काइंड ऑफ एनर्जी ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इज टेकिंग प्लेस वेन अ कैंडल बर्नस वेन अ कैंडल बर्नस वॉट काइंड ऑफ एनर्जी ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन टेक्स प्लेस who will tell very simple question it is what kind of energy transformation takes place by burning candle convene ma'am heat energy into light energy what energy is stored in the candle first yes gaurav ma'am chemical energy into heat and light yes, energy yes chemical energy candle is also uh, made up of wax so it is having chemical energy inside it chemical energy is converted into heat energy and light energy right so i am going to 